All right, we're almost done. Now what we're going to do is um, do some of the actual transitions. Before I do the transitions just um, easily, our, our one transition I do want to point out that I think is really nice is when you have things that are moved. So I'm going to actually make this the same in all states. And the reason is I'd really like to be able to see this in all states. I'm not sure if I can see the home button. so. Let me open up those buttons, turn them all on. Let's uh, actually go to that, turn them all on. And on that one, turn them all on. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually move them off to the side. And now I might say move those the same in all states. Hopefully now they'll all be moved in all the different states. So yes, they are indeed moved in all the states. Then I'll go to the home state and move them back to the center. And the reason why is because I'd like them to show in on the center here, but when I animate to the other scenes, I'd like them to actually animate off to the side. So that's why I've, I've put them off to the side there. So we'll see that kind of motion animation. Then we'll also have this animating on at the same time. Now, to make our animations, we're going to go and create smooth transitions pretty much everywhere. So anytime we're on the home page and go to any other page, we'll do a smooth transition. So just by selecting all at once, we can do that. Now, of course, we can uh, make certain things happen. Like I'm going to make the move happen before the fade. So I'm just going to move all of those both over. So here's what that would look like. If I take a look at it, that's what the mandalas would look like. If I'm on home and bio, we'll get that. If I'm on the home here, that's what it would look like for paintings. So really easy for us to do. Now, anytime that I'm on, on any other page and I go to home, which is the only other ones I'm going to worry about, paintings to home, bio to home, and mandalas to home, then I want to do the same thing, smooth transition, and now I can go to each one, and I'm going to fade out before I do the move. Paintings to home, take all the move and move them after. Mandalas to home, and move those over. Now I want to worry about when I'm in um, the current states for my paintings. So let's go into paintings here. And I'm going to go inside of the component. So I need to double click on that component. So you want to get inside there. Now we're going to do state 1 to 2, state 2 to 1, state 2 to 3, and state 3 to 2. So we can skip 1 to 3 and 3 to 1. And let's just do a smooth transition. And that's it. Now we'll go back, go to mandalas, double click on this one, on the component there. So we're going to do all of them except for state 1 to 3 and state 3 to 1, and we'll do a smooth transition. So now let's go back and take a look at our file and see how it looks with Control Enter. So now you'll see that that fades out, comes, that comes in. I can scroll down the list, scroll back, Go to Paintings, go back, and go to Mandalas. And go back. Now we have created our complete mobile interface um, project in Catalyst, which is a really nice um, you know, very clean thing, and this is something that you want to be aware of. And one of the reasons that we did this transition where you see the things animate is that you see this is pretty um, common in mobile devices. Now, one thing that we could do to make it a little bit more interesting is if I go back to the home page and I take a look at these, it's, we, we could stagger these just a little bit. So if I did, unfortunately, I don't know which button is which. So the biography is the first one, then paintings, then the last one here. So what we can do is always have them move the same way. So we'll just stagger them a little bit. 
So I'll, I'll do the same stagger here, like that. So why don't we just stagger them all? I forgot to stagger the last one there. There we go. And that will create a little bit more interesting look now. The more that you stagger your animations, the more interest you'll get. And right now you can see that I, I didn't worry about animating them back that way just because I didn't want to take the time. But pretty cool what you can do. So let's go ahead and export this file because now we're done. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as my mobile done. And I want to get access to the Swift file that I need. So I'm going to publish this Swift. I'm going to choose where to publish it. I'm going to choose to publish it in a folder. And the only file I really need is the build version to view offline. So I'm going to publish it. And let's see if I can find those files. I know those files are on the desktop into the new folder. So there's the file. Run local. And here is the Swift file I need. That has pretty much everything that I need right inside of it. Now the cool thing is you can actually put this particular project on a device such as an Android device and it will run as a native application if you really want it to. And one way to do that is possibly I can build an Air application as well, which is kind of fun. Or um, I'm not sure that I can publish it. Yeah, I, don't, I think that I can just publish it as a Swift and see what happens. Possibly I can publish an Air application. The cool thing about publishing an Air application is that can actually be an installed application on a device. Or rather, a, you can install it on a computer, in fact, which is really kind of cool. So now if I try and double click on this, it wants to install this application actually on my computer. So we've just created a desktop application with that. And it's pretty cool. Anyway, that concludes mobile um, application development prototyping, I guess, in Catalyst. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you enjoyed this project.